Hey guys, how you doing? It is Echo and welcome to a Minecraft PC tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to get and how to install Optifine 1.8. Now the reason behind this tutorial is because looking up on YouTube, all the videos say they are 1.8 Optifine when simply they are either 1.7 or 1.7.10. Don't worry, I do have the solution right here. So this is 1.8. A big thank you to Dr. Ific Doc. I will have a link to his channel. I believe he is the founder. But anyway, let's get on with this tutorial. Now, if you currently go to Optifine's website and downloads, it's saying that the latest version of Optifine is Minecraft 1.7.10. Now, I'm not quite sure about this because 1.8 is available on their website. I'm guessing I'm waiting for it to update and be available publicly. Now, if you don't know about Optifine, which I'm pretty sure you guys do, basically increase FPS boost, supports for HD texture packs, variable zoom, distance, and many other features. But again, if you are watching this tutorial, I'm guessing you search for this specific video. Now, up here in the search bar, I will have this link, which as you can see is Optifine 1.8.0 HD UA2.jar. So obviously, when you hit this link, it's gonna automatically download. Now, again, I'm not sure why it's not on their website, but I'm also gonna download this again, just to show you guys how it does work. So I'm gonna simply delete this to show you guys that it is a legitimate download. So get rid of that, close this, and I go to the, the website again. If I hit this link, which will be in the description, like I said, then it's gonna automatically start to download it here, which you will see. It says, this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep up to fine? Obviously, JAR can harm your computer, but this won't specifically. It is just simply a, a notification as a backup from Microsoft. Now I'm gonna quickly rename this. Obviously I downloaded it before, so let me just do this, get rid of that there. Uh, now obviously once you've downloaded it, you don't need their website, you can clear that out. Um, first off, I do recommend making sure you are on 1.8. Now you can do this by launching up Minecraft however you want. Um, here I've got my profile, as you can see, welcome Echo Egg Soldier, ready to play Minecraft 1.8. So I'm gonna quickly close that, and all you simply need to do is double click on Optifine. It says Optifine HD Ultra A2 for Minecraft 1.8. This installer will install Optifine in the official Minecraft launcher and will create a new pro profile Optifine for it. So click install, click OK. Uh, Optifine is successfully installed, click OK. Now you can boot up Minecraft and wait for the launcher to be complete. And once the launcher is complete, you can see that the profile says Optifine. Now you can edit and obviously I'm on 1.8 Optifine, so you can change to the release. It's up to you, obviously, if you're using this, you wanna make sure it's on release 1.8 Optifine HD Ultra A2, and then obviously you save your profile and then you launch it. So this is just gonna launch Minecraft 1.8 and uh, to make sure guys, my own Minecraft PC server is on 1.8. I'm gonna go on it, but you can see here it says Minecraft 1.8, Minecraft 1.8, I'm gonna go to multiplayer, I'm gonna go on my own Minecraft server, which is 1.7 or 1.8, so it really doesn't matter. Um, and you'll see that it works absolutely perfect. So if I go, you can see I've got command blocks there, go to options, go to video settings, you've got animations on here, which you can mess around with. Um, if I go back to the options, you've got loads of different settings that you can mess around with. Obviously, these are the things that are important about Optifine. Uh, and obviously, if you press control, you can zoom in, which is probably the main feature of Optifine in general. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Again, big thank you to Dr. Rific Doc for the um, for his video, basically. I just wanted to share this with my subscribers and for people who do enjoy Optifine in general. It is awesome, it does help your FPS. I don't really use it, um, but I guess for the sake of this tutorial, having the zoom, which I do really, really love, is useful. So I've been Echo. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to thumbs it up and have a great day. Bye.